Well, machine control and guidance is the ability to control a machine, dozer, grader, excavator, and give you the ability to guide the blade through hydraulics and electronics to uh, build a project to a surface design. And those surface designs are usually created by engineers, surveyors, and uh, put into the machine. And it's usually controlled by either GPS for location and elevation or robotic total stations for location and elevation also, or a laser for tr strictly elevation only. Machine control and guidance can be differentiated into basically two categories, 2D and 3D. 2D uses a laser-based guidance system, and in, in a 2D system, the only thing we control is the elevation of the blade. We have no reference back to a horizontal location, no reference back to any mapping. It's going to be in a machine, and all we're controlling is an elevation. That's it. 3D, we actually have a control box in the machine that will have a background map that we can actually follow. And not only do we get the elevation guidance, but we will also be able to see where we are on the project at any given time. So it's like we're riding around in the cab of the machine with a set of plans in our hands, and we can see, all right, I'm in this driveway, or I'm in this parking lot, or I'm on a building pad. So the differentiation is 3D versus 2D. Higher end projects that need control of horizontal and vertical will be guided by 3D systems. Parking lots, small parking lots, small driveways, if they're consistently needing a smooth grade, constant grade, we can do most of that work from a 2D standpoint and not have to have the other infrastructure involved to create a 3D system. We can put systems on anything from a Massey Ferguson farm tractor all the way up to a dual mast cat paver system. So we have the ability to either add hydraulics, add electronics if we need to. Cat machines come from the factory pre-wired, pre all the hydraulics are in place, the wiring is in place, and we can use that existing system, tie our sensors and our controlled displays and everything else into it, and end up with a, a very good system. So it's a, it's a multifaceted deal. We can go from reduction in survey fees to reduction in machine usage to reduction in fuel usage. All of this ties back together, and that's what makes it a, an advantage to have machine control in your equipment. Well, I'm sitting on a, uh, a club car, golf cart that has been customized by some guys at Riggs. They uh, put big tires on it, lifted it up off the ground, and painted it cat yellow and, and trimmed it in black. And this, this started out as a, uh, as a demonstration unit. We had to do an open house, and uh, it'll give us the ability to show a customer multiple facets of, of what we do. We can show them stakeout, we can show them as-built surveying, we can show them machine control and guidance all in this golf cart. We can take this to a customer and actually survey their site, download the data to the internet, pull it into a laptop, create surface models, and do it all on the fly. We don't have to go to their office. We do all this in the field. 